mga pamilya. Over the past 65 years, ABS-CBN has always aspired to improve the communities we serve. Seeing our audiences respond to our efforts is a real source of everyday inspiration. However, technology and audiences are changing at an exponential rate. This change will continue to expand and disrupt, and today, our industry finds itself in the middle of these winds. Our ability to reinvent ourselves by our generation to serve the Filipino will be at the core of our longevity and success. Last year, we accelerated our transformation program with a view to becoming an organization better equipped to capitalize on new opportunities. This program will deliver on five essential targets. First is to accelerate the transformation to a digital organization. Second is to grow our experience as business. Third is to expand our revenues and audiences beyond the Philippines. Fourth is to better serve our kapamilya through public service efforts geared towards long-term transformation. And fifth is to continue to be the industry leader in our core broadcasting business. We've made significant progress in our digital initiatives. Our streaming service, I want, was relaunched with over 95,000 hours of TV shows, movies, and original productions. We generated 60 million views in December 2018. ABSCBN.com continued to be the number one Philippine-based website and ranked third behind Google and Facebook among Philippine users. ABSCBN Entertainment's YouTube channel became the first Philippine recipient of YouTube's Diamond Creator Award in June for reaching 10 million subscribers. It ended 2018 with 15 million and is now the eighth most viewed channel in the world. ABS-CBN News is the number one YouTube news channel in the Philippines with 3.9 million views and 5.6 million subscribers, ranking among the top 30 in the world. A real adopter to the digital environment has been our music group. Previously considered a sunset business, it is now a shining example of a successful transformation to digital. By embracing streaming platforms like Spotify, as well as the expansion of its concert initiatives into digital and international audiences, abs Music has returned to profitability with digital sales accounting for 92% of total revenues. Across all these digital properties, abs is attracting new audiences and new content creators, both here and abroad. These efforts will continue to accelerate in 2019. Our digital effort is supported by initiatives in growing our social media presence, developing our online ad sales capabilities, and in various other technology upgrades. We've made investments in big data and artificial intelligence, and have doubled down on our digital innovation efforts across the company. To better improve our capabilities on the advertising side, we will provide solutions for advertisers who aim to reach their specific target segments across both our core and digital properties. They will be able to do this in an environment in an environment that is safe for their brands and across a network of digital properties that are committed to protecting the data privacy of our audiences. <laughs> digital is our fastest growing business today. Our combined digital advertising revenues now account for nearly a billion pesos, while total digital revenues represent 13% of abs revenue. revenues. The world has become a global market, and we aim to make content a primary export of our company. We are fueled by the belief that Filipino performing and creative talent is world class, and it is time we make Filipino talent shine on the world stage. This is why international expansion to non-Filipino or international audiences is going to be a critical driver for our group. We're starting off our effort with three movies. Yellow Rose is sent back by two Filipinos, Tony Award nominee Eva Nogrezada and Tony Award winner Rea Sonoga and is directed by Kiram Bayan Pargas. <laughs> this movie is one of the first awardees of a grant from ABS-CBN's Cinematographer Festival. It was recently chosen as the opening film of the 35th Los Angeles Asian Pacific Film Festival. The movie Eerie is a co-production with Singapore-based Create and stars our very own Charles Santos Poncho and Bea Alonso and is directed by Mikhail Red. Quezon's Game is a movie about how President Quezon provided refuge for more than a thousand Jews fleeing the Nazi regime in 1939. 
It has now garnered over 22 awards from various film festivals globally. International demand for our traditional content also continues to grow. Overseas syndication efforts have resulted in revenues doubling from 2015 to 2018. And last year alone, syndication sales rose 30% year on year, driven by Africa and overseas OTT platforms. In the coming years, we will be expanding our efforts into Latin America and Asia. Just last month, Showtime Indonesia, our first format sale in that market, began airing on MNC TV. We will soon be investing in various co productions, not only for feature films, but for TV series, documentaries, music, concerts, and lifestyle content. Our international efforts will also see an expansion of TFC and our theatrical movie distribution into new territories. Last year, we generated 500 million pesos in international gross receipts for our movies. That's 18% of our total box office revenues. All told, our international initiatives now account for 15% of total ABS TV revenues in 2018. In 2015, Design Manila became the 20th design location in the world. A dedicated play and learning space for Filipino children and families, Design Manila welcomed its 1 million visitor in 2018 and is forced to finally turn a profit this year. We further our investment in team experiences with the launch of the ABS-CBN Studio Experience Store in Kanyama, Quezon City. ABS-CBN Studio Experience offers visitors 15 different attractions, and noteworthy is the Capamilia Theater, which is home to the country's first and only four-dimensional local production, ASAP 4D, which immerses audiences in the all-star show as if the performances were happening in life. Concerts, small shows, and many other pocket events complete our team experiences initiatives. In 2018, our integrated events business orchestrated 500 events, both here and abroad. In turn, these events delivered 53% in revenue growth from 2017, 460,000 face-to-face engagements, and close to 1.6 billion in revenues. Our core media platforms are expected to continue delivering substantial contributions that will help fund our transformation. ABS-CBN dominated ratings across all time blocks in 2018 and remains the number one network in the Philippines. As of last year, close to 7 million homes now have TV Plus boxes. 7 out of 10 non-cabled homes in Metro Manila and 6 out of 10 non-cabled homes in the suburbs are now watching television on TV Plus. <coughs> Cinema and Yay, our TV Plus channels, are now the number 3 and number 4 free-to-air channels in the country. To further improve the production of our TV programs, we inaugurated our first two sound stages in December 2018. Alongside the inauguration, we have been investing in the training of our teams, guided by Hollywood-based consultants, so that we can evolve into a stronger, creative organization. ABS-CBN News continue to produce the most watched news program in the Philippines by the TV Patrol, while BZMM held on to the number one spot on AM radio. In FM, and we are the number one station in Metro Manila in various parts of the country. ABS-CBN Films has continued to perform well. The House of Us is now the all-time Philippine box office record holder, with 700 million pesos in local gross receipts and over $2 million in international revenues. Fantastica ended the year with 400 million pesos in domestic receipts, while excess baggage did over 350 million in global box office receipts. Sky Direct, our DTH service, ended the year with 930,000 subscribers. It crossed the 1 million subscriber mark in January 2019, barely three years after its launch. As 2018 ended, Sky Broadband started its broadband expansion program to address the growing demand for broadband products and faster speeds. All our efforts have always been guided by the call to be of service to the Philippines, telling their stories, inspiring and entertaining them, advocating on their behalf, and assisting them during challenging times. After reviewing our efforts, we decided to focus our resources on seven key areas. Overseas Filipino welfare, health and wellness, child welfare, humanitarian relief, education, the environment, and livelihood. Through the support of individuals and partners who have trusted abs with their donations, we serve close to 10,000 Kapamilya through our Kulong Center, 
and close to 17,000 patients through our medical and dental missions. Mantai Bata assisted close to 8,000 children. Operations again provided relief to 32,000 families. And finally, our envi environmental efforts continued in the La Mesa watershed and Echo Park and in various other communities. This was a difficult year for the advertising business. We estimate that total industry TV ad sales declined by 6% from 2017. We believe that the businesses of many of our advertisers were adversely affected by the impact of high inflation and the increased sugar tax. Consequently, our total advertising revenues for 2018 declined by 4% to 20.3 billion. Sky also faced a challenging year as continued court cutting broke down its cable TV revenues by 13% to 4.1 billion pesos. This decline was mitigated by the growth in broadband and DTH, such that total subscription revenues for Sky remained flat. If we exclude DTT box sales, expenses remain flat versus previous year, but not enough to mitigate the effect of lower revenues. In 2018, our net income was at 1.9 billion pesos, 40% lower than the previous year. However, we are well positioned for a rebound in market conditions. With stronger ratings in broadcast and continued growth in viewership on our digital properties, we are confident that there will be a full recovery of our profitability this year in 2019. It is clearly an uncertain time for abs -CBM. We are faced with threats from many directions, changing consumer habits, disruptive technologies, political headwinds, and new competition. Your company has been through many periods of uncertainty in the past. And we have not only overcome challenges, but because of them, we have emerged a better, stronger, and more relevant company. Allow us to thank all of you for standing by us and supporting us through these difficult times. Your trust is a pillar of strength for those of us that have had to deal with these challenges on a day-to-day -day basis. Regardless of what the future holds, our commitment is to continue serving our audiences and our publics in any way that we can. This is our calling, one that will never be. This is why we exist. And this is why we can face the future with the confidence that comes from believing that what we do matters to the people that we serve. Maraming salamat.